This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only. And anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See them thinking, see them analyzing that data. But like I tell you every day, the data they release us is false. I'm going to give us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, these bad actors supposed to you know, reveal their short positions. Do I think they're going to do it? Not really. I don't think so. Because we all know that the, they don't care about what the law says. They don't care about the rules say. They do whatever they want. And if they get caught, they just pay a small fine. So there's no real incentive to give the world evidence that they're naked shorting AMC, GME, and other stocks in our stock market. But anyway, AMC had another green day, but I think it's totally irrelevant. But the volume was 10,981,245. That the volume means absolutely nothing because we have no idea what they're doing in the dog pools, what the shenanigans they're doing. So the volume that they report to us in my opinion, and I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell AMC. I'm just telling you that it's totally irrelevant. The volume they, they report to us is totally irrelevant. And a lot of people saying, well, Stanko, Tracker, Ortex, Fintel is the one giving us the information. These platforms are given the information that's provided to them. Okay? They can't verify the information. They're not in-house in these companies. So these platforms are giving us the information that's given to them. So you can't blame the platforms for the inaccurate information. You blame the source that's providing them with the information. Anyway, that's just my opinion. Anyway, as far as calls in the money, you have 18,800 calls in the money. And at $5, you have another 11,818 calls in the money. I tell y'all every day, the calls mean absolutely nothing because AMC does not move by supply and demand. It moves by criminality. So it doesn't matter if the calls are in the money or not in the money. When they decide to push the price down, to double down on their criminality in the dog pool to manipulate the price, that is what the what they do. The call options are a piggy bank for them. And, and, and that's just my opinion. Okay. But here's the thing that's a little strange. This is the second time there are zero shares available to short. The whole weekend went by, late Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and they have not had any AMC shares available to short since the market, since about 1 o'clock on Friday. That's a little strange. Over the weekend is usually when they do a lot of their shenanigans, where you see 2 million, 3 million, 5 million, 10 million shares moved in between them. But somehow, since the market closed on Friday, there are zero shares available to short. That is a little weird to me. Okay? And 44.8% of the volume was shorted shares. So that means there was about 5 million shorted shares Friday. But like I tell every day, I would like to see the chain of custody of these shares. Where did they originate from? Can we see the blue sheets? Of course we can, because the shares originate from nowhere. They just create the shares in the computers of the market makers, or they take the same share and regurgitate it and just lend it over and over and over again. And that's why the FTDs are out of control. And SEC, DOJ, FBI... You know exactly what's going on. You don't need no resources to go after them. All you have to do is look at the chain of custody of the shares, and it will pro it will provide overwhelming evidence that these guys are robbing and stealing from retail investors for the last three years. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think it's a little weird that here we got another weekend with zero shares were available to short. That's very strange to me. Anyway, have a great day. God bless, and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.